不来。Morning. Well, now there is light in my place. The light of Christ shining in my Christian palace. Amen. Admitting what is wrong. <laughs> Gee, it's hard. I have made over 3,000 of these films up on five channels now on YouTube in the last 13 years, no less. And for the first time, one of my films was pulled and I reacted like Churchill when Karsh stole his cigar and said, oh, who are you to steal my cigar? And Karsh then took this black and white image of Churchill looking more than myth. Well, that's how I felt too, to pull one of my films down. Who are they? So I looked into it all and now, a few days later, nearly a week actually, it is on a subject which I do not intend to go into. Um, I mean, the threat was I've had a warning, then I get a strike. I think I get two strikes and three strikes and I'm out. They closed my channel down. Brilliant. It's my main outlet, this, these films. I speak, I know I rabbit on, but I do believe genuinely that there is more than a grain of truth coming through. It's my life's work. For heaven's sake, I do not write philosophical treatises, theological treatises, religious treatises. These are these little sermons, if you like, homilies, whatever they are, are me attempting to make sense of the world as a Christian and then to try to bring that to others, to bring this light of Christ which is shining within me to the whole world. Amen. Admitting you're wrong. So I've now looked into the subject a little bit more and I must confess Mea culpa, mea culpa, maxima, mea culpa. <laughs> but it's so hard. You know, I was so sure that what I was saying made sense, and much of it did, but essentially I believe I'm, I got it wrong. So I'm not going to go into all the ins and outs of it. Just really this thing of... I watched the deep sorrow and anger, mounting anger, and then even deeper sorrow, both George W. Bush and Mr. Tony Blair of Britain, the Prime Minister and Presidents respectively of their countries, both getting voted back into power in 2005 after the second war in Iraq. So the people had seen what their leaders had led them through the war, especially the second war in Iraq, being absolutely an ego trip, and to maintain control of the Middle East, the Saudi Arabian oil, which might have been overtaken by Saddam Hussein, Iraq, with their 300,000 battle-hardened troops having the West helped him to fight against Persia, Iran, etc., etc., and then oops, he took Kuwait, and then etc., etc., the first war in Iraq, and then on it went, 
and then to sort of conclude the matter, which has not concluded, incidentally, it's still absolutely an internal trouble if you take out a despot and leave no, nothing there, then it keeps simmering away, quite frankly. I'm not into international politics in a big way, with small i and a small p, yes, as a Christian. I, don't, I take an interest in the world in which I live. Anyway, both of those men, Mr. George W. Bush, Mr. Tony Blair, and all the people capping, yay, 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 they both got second terms. This is where I'm getting to. I, they still are utterly in denial of having committed crimes against humanity, the indiscriminate slaughter of tens of thousands of innocent human beings in Iraq, so the West, could continue to have control over its oil supply from Saudi Arabia, which has whatever 30% of the world's oil reserves. Ha! So they have not repented of their evil. I felt so strongly about it in 2005. I went and <coughs> got my visa to go to India. It took quite a while, a month or two, I think, to come through. And then off, I was out of England. I couldn't stand being in this country any longer. I am in England now, I live in a town called Harpenden, near St Albans, uh, in Hertfordshire, Hinderland, that's where I am now, back in England. Where else should I go? I don't know. I just watched a... He rambled, <laughs> but I watched. It was really quite interesting. Uh, one of those big loaders taking away a skip. And he sort of put the chains on, whoop, lift it up, and then there's a big cover thing that comes over. All organised, mechanically, he's just pushing the little buttons and levers. And then he pinned it down with, with ropes all arranged to stop it, you know, obviously allowing bits to fly off. And off he went. Had a little feet at the back and he put bits of wood under the feet so the feet wouldn't mark the tarmac, etc. So it was all organised. And, well, there isn't a great pile of... I mean, some chucked on just before he left one of these sort of semi-modern televisions. You know, what happens to that? All the electronics and mechanics and plastics and everything, I don't know. This is the world we live in. Part of the point of that ramble is the fact is there is an infrastructure here in jolly old England which I absolutely castigate. People recognise the second war in Iraq now. All that mass weapons of mass destruction. I can't stand that awful little man, Mr. Tony Blair. If he ever comes on about anything, I utterly will not listen to a single word that awful, awful man utters. Likewise, I feel about that awful man in America, the former president who thinks he can bounce back and do this and that, and he's got supporters. Anyway, admitting you're wrong, and they don't. I have just been at this matter within the last week, it's less than a week ago, and I admit that in all the circumstances, elements of, of that film, it was one of my longest ever, 26 minutes and a bit, with this same music playing, incidentally, which is Beethoven's seventh symphony, which is so beautiful, conducted by Herbert von Karajan, so one of the best exponents, conductors of, of Beethoven's music, too. And it's beautiful, uplifting, and this and that, and I thought I was making an uplifting film, but I've reviewed it myself now, again, and I can see the point of why it was pulled. So, mea culpa, mea culpa, maxima, mea culpa. No, <laughs> <laughs> Don't 
Does that look like a mother and child to you? A friend came round and she took a look at it and said, that looks like a mother and child. <laughs> Dog walker. I was actually waving it at those peeps inside here, mate. I make films, you see. So I was waving at them, but I'll wave at you too. <laughs> You've just been on film, you see. Well, it doesn't matter. No one watches them. All well? Cheers, chap. Lovely dog, actually.